Hello, Wendy Antonucci here, and I am so happy to join you again for the top 10 YouTube hop. Of course, it is 2018, almost 19, so I have a few more than 10. I have a few here to show you, but we are moving, so I have a few that will follow on the video that are also my favorites. So I designed for Bella, and I have for years, and it is actually Bella Boulevard. It's I love color. I'm all about color, so to me, their collections just really work for me and for all my family. This is one that I just did, and you can see another video, and it was for scrapbook.com, and I created a background on this one. I made little gifts, little um, clusters of gifts to show my daughter and the gifts she was getting, and yes, that was back in 2015, so I'm a little behind on a few of my things. This is another Bella Boulevard layout. Now my children do not play sports. We're just, we're music people. We're not much into sports, but I had these pictures of them playing soccer. They were really into it. And I just love how this page turned out. I love the acrylic words that are from Bella Boulevard. And it's just such a bright, um, just wow page. I love the color again. Here's another Bella Boulevard page. This is my son. It was his birthday. And I just had to use, look at me, but don't bug me. It was one of the little sentiments on the three by four cards and it just fit perfectly. So I use that as my title. I love again, color. I use multiple pictures, but I also like a lot of clean space as you might be noticing. Okay, here's another Bella Boulevard. This one again, you can see the white, the clean space and then all the color around it. It actually started out as a card. This cluster here was supposed to make a card, but it was a little bit bigger than what would fit in a card. And so I just put this, I put it on white cardstock and then mounted it on the colored paper. It still didn't really work real well, but once I cut out my son's heads and kind of um, fit that on there. I thought it really worked well. And again, I love the acrylic words. They're one of my favorite items. All right, this is a Simple Stories page. I love Simple Stories. I used to create for them um, oh, a couple of years ago. And I love Disney. So I have kept all their Disney collections. This is a whole bunch of them. I love to layer, I love the chipboard, I love their pieces because you can just kind of go with what they've already created and layer some more elements and you really got a page already. So again, I usually have multiple pictures, I have handwriting and I try to remember to always write the date because I won't remember later. This is another Simple Stories page. This was actually a Valentine's collection and I um, added some wood in. Um, it was from, oh goodness, this was an old collection. I don't remember which one, but it was Simple Stories again. And this is one of those 6 by 12 pages. I know a lot of people don't know how to use them, but they go really nicely when you just butt them up and make one side maybe your picture and then one side more a decorative element. So this is just a page that I made that really uh, speaks to me and is something that we hang on to. And there's a little rainbow in there because I don't think you can see from there. This one is L Studio and I create for them. This is, oh, I don't remember what month, but I loved the six by six paper pad that had come with it. And then we had gotten some circle stamps. So I used that to create some of the background. Again, I love when I have puffy stickers, acrylics. It's something really big for me. I love the white, again, the plain space, but I have my pictures. And here I chose to journal around the page to hold my, um, my layout in. Okay, so that's one of my favorite ones. I love how that is. This one was a Coco Daisy page. This one um, I designed for Coco Daisy, the plan team, planner team now, but I used to be on the kit club or the memory keeping side. So this was one of those pages. Again, this was one of the uh, three by four cards that were in there and I couldn't fit the card in, but I chose to make my, uh, just put the saying on the page. I love this page. I didn't want to cut it. So I just kind of cut it at a wonky angle 
and matted it on another one that allowed me to have the butterfly and a fussy cut it so I could stick my other picture under there. So here's a few of my favorite. I'm going to show you a few more. And as you can see, I love, I love words. I love when I can find a, uh, the three by four cards, usually um, day in the life cards, project life cards. And I use those to create titles and sentiments and just fill up a page. I love color. I love white space. I love Disney. I have five boys, so you see a lot of boy pictures in my uh, in my favorites. There's another one, and I love again the white space. So there you have it. Thanks so much for joining me. Leave a comment, and you could be a winner of a Scrapbook.com gift card. So just leave your uh, comment and subscribe, and I will announce the winner uh, next year. Have a wonderful New Year's and a great 2019. Thanks for joining me. Bye.